What's up guys, this is Ryan from thetechdapple.com and today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 Cydia tweaks from the month of April and late March. So what I'm going to start off with is CMD tab. You've probably heard of this one. It's the app switcher that pops up and you'll have many options in here between the settings. You'll have music, Twitter, uh, messages, Bluetooth, Cydia, and the power options. Now you're going to be able to respring power off and reboot your device. Rebooting and respringing isn't actually available on the default of regular iPhone or iPod or iPad. You have to have a jailbreak tweak to do this, but CMD does provide it. So let's go back in there and basically I'm going to show you Cydia. You can click on that and it'll open up Cydia. Now as you can imagine, it'll open up all the other ones just the same. But yeah, that was CMD tab. The next week I'm going to show you guys is called NC Settings. Now if we scroll down our notification center, here is NC Settings. It's kind of a ripoff of SB Settings, but I actually really like the layout of this new NC Settings um, tweak here. So basically we have our power option over here. We can click on it and it will respring our device. And then if we go back in, we can bring it back down and we have our brightness settings right here. We can change our brightness right from our notification center. And then we have right here is the Wi-Fi. I believe you can toggle it on and off. And then we have music and we have many other choices in here. Now what choices are shown up here depend on what you put in the settings. You can actually configure this right in the settings.app. So right here, NC settings. And then we can go to configure and we could choose on or off for all these little menus right here. We have brightness, Wi-Fi, volume, lock, rotation, location services, private browsing. You could choose to enable or disable them. Now if we go back, you can choose the volume settings. Um, do you want it to up the volume automatically for everything or just the audio or video? Then if we go ahead and go back, we have shortcuts. You can enable or disable that. And then here's portrait and landscape mode. If This basically shows how many icons you want to show per uh, page swipe. So I just set it to three right there. And basically only shows three now. So it has bigger icons. So if you can't see as well, this is going to be good for you. And we still have all the same icons on here. There's just more pages. And if we go ahead and go back, basically you're going to be able to switch the icons. So this is basically kind of the wiggle mode right there. And we can switch where we can put them just like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. That is not included in SB settings. That's a cool feature right there. Now our next tweak is weather icon. As you see right here, it says it's 45 degrees and it is sunny with clouds. And it also shows the weather right here as a nice new icon. It's cloudy with sun, just like it says right up there. So this is all thanks to a city of tweak called weather icon. This is actually a really nice one. I like having my uh, weather up here. I can wake up, turn on my device. I don't have to go to any application. I said to look right up there and I have live weather updates. So to set it up, go into the weather icon settings. You can go to weather settings and you can choose when you want it to refresh every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or if you just want to do it manually. And then we can go down here and you could choose to turn on the wind chill instead. And then this is where you're going to be able to set up the Yahoo weather. Just type in your Yahoo uh, zip code or uh, Yahoo location code and it should work. And you can choose between Fahrenheit and Celsius. So if we go ahead and go back, you can choose if you want this up here. If you don't want the weather up there, then you can actually turn off the show uh, image and temp right here for the status bar. Or you could just turn on the image and don't turn on the temperature. It doesn't really matter what you choose. And yeah, that's how you set this one up. Now the next tweak I want to show you, it's actually an application. It's called Vuzik, and this just came out a few days ago. And I was really impressed with this one. I have it on my iPhone right now, but I'm using it on my iPod Touch because Vuzik is video ringtones for basically the iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. You can use it with FaceTime, or you could use it with actual phone calls on the iPhone. So let's go ahead into Vuzik, and I'm going to show you what I mean. 
So basically it's gonna load up, it takes a few seconds, and then you can go into the download tab right there, and you're gonna be able to either search for your videos, for your ringtones, or you can actually just choose from the top videos trending. So basically I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose a quick little video here, and I'm gonna download it, and I'm gonna show you how this works. Now depending on the download, it may take sometimes over a minute. It also depends on your Wi-Fi network. But this seems to be going pretty fast. It must be a big file video. So once it's done downloading, we can go ahead and go back. And you're going to go into the video call section. And you're going to turn it on. And this is basically where you're going to edit the video. You're going to cut it down to the certain time you want. So if you only want the video call time to be 5 seconds, then you can cut it down to that. So let's go ahead and do that. Just grab the yellow bars and there we go. And then you can click save or you could preview it by clicking play. And once again, it's going to take a few seconds to trim the video. And then there we go. All you have to do is turn it on. And once you get a call, a video is going to play with the music on the video instead of your regular ringtone. So let's go ahead and test that out. And there we go, it actually played the video and the song in the background and that is our new ringtone for either phone calls on the iPhone or FaceTime calls on other devices. Now if you go into the settings, this is where you're going to set it up for FaceTime calls and uh, the actual phone calls. So full screen video calls, you can turn that on. Now our last tweak is called Imperium. So if you go ahead and hold the status bar, this is how I set an activator setting up. And Imperium is basically a cool little menu that brings up the brightness settings, the music settings, and uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and other various settings. And down here we have icons that we can actually set up. We have Twitter, Quick Photo, Quick Search, uh, the power, the song lyrics, and toggle rotation. Now this does work, the brightness works, everything works on here. You turn on Wi-Fi off, back on, everything works well. And you could actually slide over to the next page and you can view all the applications on your device. And then we also have a song a song list right here. You can be able to play your music from right here. And if we go back, down here is actually, uh, if I can go back in a second, okay, here it is. This is how you're gonna be able to delete applications and start applications. It's basically an application killer. And then you could set up your applications in the Imperium uh, settings right here and we have activation methods and you could choose how you want to activate it of course mine was a uh, hold on the status bar up there and then if we go back we can choose our bookmark applications uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose some other one as we saw I had Safari and then we had uh, let's see here music and everything like that so your applications I just showed you, they're basically going to be put down here. And if you do have any uh, open applications, you're actually going to be able to kill them. And other than that, you can go down here. You can choose what page it starts off on. Of course, mine started off on the system settings. You could choose background apps, all apps, music player. It doesn't matter. It's your personal preference. And then you could actually edit the background. So if you want it to be more blurred, more dark, um, you want to choose how good the animation speed is, you're going to actually hit the slide that up or down. And then we have double tap to dismiss. This is how you're going to close it out. So I have that on. So I should be able to double tap and it'll dismiss. Without it, I'll actually have to click the home button. Tell me what you think about these tweaks in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to know more about these tweaks. I will leave all the info in the description below. And that's where you'll find how you can get it. The Big Boss Repo, Mod My Eye Repo, and etc. And anyways guys, remember to like and subscribe. And make sure you check out TheTechTable.com. And I'll see you guys in the next one.